So, growing random forest with uh, 1,000 tree in R is very easy. One command to grow a whole forest, one command to predict. So it's very easy, only two commands. We, ha we have no equation to interpret, we have no marginal effects to think about, we have no coefficient, we have no hypothesis testing. Uh, the algorithm is a black box. You have a fee, uh, we, we have 500 trees, each tree has uh, some thousand uh, of uh, levels of questions, so we cannot imagine it, but uh, but it predicts rather well. Uh, so I uh, I in, I should uh, I will use two packages. One packages which uh, contains the Titanic data set. So I use the package Titanic, and then I use a, a new library we haven't used yet. It's called Random uh, Forest, I think, with big F. Yeah. So I will use only. I may add some other packages, but it's uh, only mean, two packages. Yeah, I think, but I may add more. Normally, I use. Uh, two standard packages that I always attach uh, dplyr for data manipulation and the uh, library uh, ggplot2 for data visualization but uh, for, for our purposes I need a data set and I need uh, an algorithm so let's start if you, you probably you need to uh, install the package random forest because we haven't used it yet. It's, uh, it's not available for version. No, no, no. It should be available. No, you, install you go to random. Be careful. You should have a big F. R is case sensitive. So if you type random forest b b with big R or with small f, it, it will not work. But if you type with a small r, I show how to install packages. We do not need to install packages every time. So it works. I, I just okay. So now. Uh, I look at my data set. Uh, we have, sorry, let me. Okay, so first I will abbreviate a little bit the long name of Titanic Train dataset. Let's look what data, data do I have. I have uh, 
12 variables, passenger ID, survive, passenger class, name, sex, and so on. Uh, some variables are, I will need to transform to factor variables. So to this sex for the moment is character, I will transform it into factor variables. I will emit, I think, uh, cabin I will emit, I will emit the ticket number uh, and the passenger ID. So I will emit these three variables because they are, uh, they are not... Uh, a random forest can use a numeric or factor variables for each split. So uh, character variables like name, uh, I should either extract some characteristics like the name length, like the presence of uh, Mr. in the name, maybe it's... Uh, affects the chances of survival. I may extract some numerical characteristics of uh, a name, but uh, I will not do it uh, now. So I will simply omit the variable name, the variable, uh, the cabin number, uh, the ticket, what's written on the ticket, uh, and passenger ID, because it's just the number one, two, three, four, five. So I will make a sub set of my variables. I will write select uh, from tit I deselect I deselect so I write with minus passenger passenger ID I deselect name and I deselect I think ticket Sorry? Uh, what is SPSP? Uh, if you type help uh, titanic train, uh, because the titanic is built in data set, it's documented, and if I look at SIPs, it's the number of siblings and the spouses aboard. And so I also deselect cabin, cabin, yeah. So my data set T2 is a little bit uh, simpler. I do not have now, I have less variables. So what should I do? I should transform the sex variable into a factor one and I should transform an embarked variable into a factor one, okay? No chapter variable. But maybe, but let's try, maybe, maybe Random Forest will do it uh, himself, I don't know. Let's try to save our, our time and the lines of code to make the code. Let's try, maybe the Random Forest will uh, just do with uh, character, maybe it will transform automatically. Let's try. So I just uh, type model equal to, now it's not LM, it's not logit, it's random forest. Uh, my data is uh, in data set T2. And uh, normally I should transform manually character variables to factor, but let's try, maybe random forest is uh, smart enough to do it for me. And I say that uh, survive it. Survive it is explained by uh, passenger class, uh, sex, age, seeds, all other variables, patch, pair, and embarked. So I have a long formula. Okay, yeah, that's, uh, a, we have a small problem. Yeah, I remember this problem. Uh, what does it say? Can we read the problem? What, what does it say? We should substrate survive it also. Yeah, we have missing values uh, in our observation. What does a missing value mean? Sometimes we have no data. Uh, we have uh, some data about the age, so for example, we know, uh, let's look at this at the beginning of the data set. We have the first person is uh, 
22 years old, the second one is 38 years old, and so on. But the one, two, three, four, five, six, the sixth person, we have no data uh, on the age of the person number six. Okay? Mm -hmm. So we just, we simply we have no data about, we have no observation. It's missed. Uh, um, so this realization of random forest, uh, it does not work with uh, such data. Uh, so, mm. there are many possibilities. The first possibility how to deal with some uh, uh, common uh, work uh, with uh, missing observations. Some uh, commons like this random forest do not work well with missing values. What are possible cures for this problem? The first cure, you are exactly right, we may simply omit all uh, missing observations. So we may simply uh, remove this person from our data set. Okay? So first possible how to deal. So the first thing we see that uh, random forest random forest does not work with NA. NA is is abbreviation of not available that means missing data so what to do first option option with the option one is uh, just just omit na all situations with na Just omit all observations with NA. So I may say T3 is NA omit T2. So if I look at my new data frame, so let's say what's the difference. If I look at my data set T3, the third data set, green, oops. yeah. The number of observation of observations has dramatically fallen. I have uh, in the original data frame I have uh, 891 observations, and after I drop missing values, I have 714 observations. Yeah, yeah. Uh, if we have an A, another sample, uh, should we always end the uh, should, no, should we uh, do the same uh, procedure? With what? Uh, with uh, another sample with an A. Mm -hmm. No, no, it's just one option. I mean, uh, all observation with an A. The one way, or there is another there way? There is another way, just option one, so there will be option two. Mm -hmm. There are many options. It's a, uh, it's a big. Uh, area of research what to do will, with missing uh, with missing observations mm -hmm. it's one simplest the simplest possibility is just to omit them i will uh, show another possibility but um, there are too many possibilities even we can use random forest to fill na mm -hmm. there is, there, are, uh, there is a, a technique which uses random forest uh, grown on uh, complete observations mm -hmm. to fill in missing observations mm -hmm. because uh, like uh, um, we can miss some important values <laughs> yeah 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 so i will show options too but for the moment let's go with option one sorry yeah yeah i may go here uh -huh. Just a moment. I will put my code.
just a moment. It works slowly. Just a moment, I will put my code on the web, it's a little bit slow. Okay, so I have a link, now I will abbreviate it. So if you missed something, you just follow this link. If you missed something, my code is available here. Goo.gl slash big Z, small Z, big Z, I, big X, 7. So if you missed something, my code is available here. Google slash big Z, small Z, big Z, I, X, 7. Yeah, very good short URL. Now let's uh, build a random forest finally. I will just copy my command. Yeah, Hope I will copy. But what I will change, I will say that the data is contained not in TID2, but in TID3. Yeah. Okay, no, let's, uh, uh, let's, uh, no, random forest, ah, yeah, I understand the problem, that random forest may be used not only for classifying, but for regression, uh, also for uh, numeric, um, yeah, so we need to specify factor variables ourselves, so we just go back and we specify factor variables ourselves, yeah. Yeah, we go back to T2, and here we will uh, specify uh, factor variables. We need to specify, specify factor variables. So, factor variables, okay, let's do it. Uh, so, yeah, T3 uh, is equal to... I will hold T3. No, tit four, tit three, tit four, tit four, and tit three. I should uh, specify uh, mutate each. I take tit two and I uh, make variables. I should specify that uh, they are factors. Sex is a factor variable. Survived is a factor variable. What else? Um, I think passenger class is a factor. Uh -huh. What else? And embarked is a factor variable, and I wait here. I should uh, specify the type of a variable for factor variables, and now it will go fine. John? Не, не, мы для Тит-3 будем делать амитены, мы будем делать амитены и после Тит-3. Я не знаю, почему интернет так быстро. public gist okay I have updated the link so just the same link mutate each we apply we change uh, we apply this function factor to each variable it's an equivalent of uh, I may say mutate each or I may say uh, 
the same thing and as a style to uh, another option to execute this command is to say t3 is equal to mutate uh, t2 and I say sex I transform the old variable sex into factor one uh, the new survived is a factor of all survived factor of all the survived and so on so just another simple way to transform all variables using some function. Mm -hmm. If I should, for example, take the logarithm of each variable, I may say mutate each log. Yeah. Go back uh, to omit it is here. Yeah. I should go down or. You just copy this link and you will see my code. You just put this link into a browser and you see the all the all the code. Who needs help? Okay.
So, yeah, are we ready to grow a random forest? So, what changes have I made? So, first I load packages, yeah? Then I uh, shorten a little bit the name of the data set, not to type Titanic train uh, underscore. Then I glimpse, I look at my data frame, I see the number of variables, number of observations. Then I uh, remove uh, unnecessary variables that will not be used for prediction. But uh, if you are trying to do your best, if you are trying to make a very good prediction, maybe it's, uh, maybe the name contains some useful information, maybe the presence of phone or a mister or something in name uh, has something related to the prediction of survived, not survived, so maybe some dummy variables should be introduced based on the name, but uh, it will take me too far from our topic, so I will just omit the name, but even uh, when the characteristic is character, maybe some numeric characteristics may be uh, built uh, upon it, okay? So maybe some numeric information may be extracted from, from the name, okay? Uh, so, the next transformation, uh, I should specify for each factor variable, I should explicitly tell that it's factor. I have following factor variables, sex, survive, passenger class, and then back. Uh, I may use one line command or I may use a long command to explicitly transform each variable. This command in line 16 is equivalent to the commented out command in line 19. I may say t3 equal to mutate the data frame T2 and the rule of transformation for each variable. Sex is equal to factor of sex, survived factor of survived, and so on. Or just line number 16, that I mutate each of these variables in this data set with the factor function, okay? So then my first attempt was unsuccessful. Why? My first attempt was unsuccessful because the data set T3 contains missing variables. I exp you should obtain an error here because uh, random forest does not work with uh, missing data, okay? So here we should obtain an error. Uh, what to do with missing observations? It's a good question. There are many, uh, there, is, uh, there is vast literature on what to do with missing observations. It's not an easy problem. We have an easy solution. It's not perfect solution, it's easy solution. Just omit all observations with NA. So I introduce new table, new data set, T4, which is T3, with lower number of observations, okay? And I build a random forest, I grow a random forest for this data set. You may see that computer is a little bit is sinking a little bit. See, if I take, for example, 4 plus 5, you will see the response almost immediately, yeah? And here, if I run this comment, I may see a small delay, yeah? A small delay, because during this delay, it has grown 500 trees, okay? So, 500 trees. We do not see them, because each tree is very long. Uh, and now we may forecast. Random forest, we have no simple formula, we have no description for our data set. It may be used only for prediction. So it's a main drawback of random forest. It uh, does not explain our data set, okay? The only use of random forest is for prediction. <coughs> So, for example, I may specify, uh, I have a data frame which is called uh, uh, titanic, titanic, titanic test. 
titanic test uh, is another data frame. For titanic train, we have all observations for we have observations for survival, for passenger class, for sex, for age, for number of siblings, for number of parents, fare, and embarked. For in the titanic test uh, data frame, we have no observations for survival variable. Okay. So titanic train, we have data on explanatory variables and uh, dependent variable. In the data set titanic test, we have only data on explanatory variables. No data in this titanic test for survival variable. Okay? Yeah. It's, we have in these, uh, uh, when, we, uh, when we type and execute <coughs> library titanic, it loads two data sets, titanic train and titanic test. In titanic train, we have uh, uh, observations for dependent and for explanatory variable. In titanic test, we have observations only for explanatory variables, okay? Ah, yeah, time. Yeah, and now we may predict, yeah? Uh, we may just uh, type something like predict, predict uh, uh, model and new data frame for which to predict. Uh, yeah, what's the problem? Why it gives me an error? Because in the titanic uh, uh, test, yeah, just read, just read the error message. It's not, uh, don't, uh, do not panic, it's a good uh, recommendation. Do not panic, just error in prediction model. Wow, we are happy, an error in prediction model. Yeah. Type of predictors in new data do not match that of the training data. Why? What's the meaning of this error message? You should be happy. You see an error message, say, wow, let's uh, uh, drink uh, two beers uh, for this uh, error message. Yeah? <laughs> don't be shy. Don't be unhappy. What, what, what does R tries to say to me? <laughs> yeah, because if I look at my uh, data frame T4, I have survived which is factor, passenger class which is factor, sex which is factor, age which is numeric, siblings and numeric, and so on, yeah? And if I look at my uh, titanic test, I see that I have, uh, I have other variables, but it doesn't matter, it will not use them for prediction name. Uh, so it's okay when... Uh, you try to predict on a data set with, which contains more variables than your training data set. But, the, uh, but this type is a, a character, uh, not factor. Uh, this is also a uh, character embarked. So once again, I should transform variables into factor one. So the problem was, so do not be afraid of errors. It's okay. when I. Uh, doing uh, some research in R, it's okay, I get plenty of errors. It's normal. So, the reason of the error factor variables in T4, but uh, character variables in titanic test. So now I uh, tit test tit test I mutate mutate each in titanic titanic test using the function the function factor I mutate what do I mutate? I need to mutate sex passenger class what should what sh what else should i transform embarked what else i think that's all because there is no survived variable in sex survived passenger class embarked 
So sex passenger class and birth. Okay. So I transform. Oh no, it's. So I transform the types of variables into factor ones, and now I'm ready to make predictions. So once again, Titanic test is just another data frame you may uh, glimpse, you may look on it, uh, Titanic uh, test, Titanic test, it's another data frame, it has uh, 400 observations. And now I may predictions predict, uh, predict, uh, I am say model, and I predict for T test. No, no, no. no. Why type of predictors in new data do not match? I got it. Yeah. You got the predictions? Yes. <laughs> Passenger class is factor. Passenger class is factor. Uh, what else? Sex is factor. H is double. Sips uh, is uh, okay. Large. Remark is factor. Let's look at levels, maybe levels, uh, t test. Um, levels, t for embarked. <laughs> ah, yeah, we have some. Yeah, we have some problems with uh, levels of factor variables. Levels do not match t test, let's say sex here, and levels. I check whether the levels of factor variables are the same. And uh, I check the levels for passenger class. I check whether the levels of factor variables are the same. Why R do not recognize them as the variables of the same type? And I see that uh, passenger class is encoded in both data frames as one, two, three. Uh, sex is encoded female, male. But uh, uh, the reason which does not allow uh, R to understand that these var variables do match each others in my data frame which I used for estimation of for growing random forest in my T4 embarked is encoded CQS these are ports of embarkment uh, Southampton I don't remember the two Queensland something like this and there is one empty level and in my uh, test data frame I have only three possible levels so R thinks that these two variables, embarked and embarked, are different because these variables has four levels and these variable has three levels only. So that's the reason of the problem. So now I go to look whether there are a lot of observations with empty uh, unspecified port of embarkation. So I look at T4 dollar embarked. 
and I see that there are two observations with empty level and a lot of observations with Queensland, Southampton, and I don't remember the third one. Uh, so if I have only two observations, I will just omit them. So I write here new, I will change a little bit my code. Yeah. I will go here. Before I transform variables into factor one, what I will do, I will say that tit to b, I will uh, filter my observations and I will take the tit to data set and, and, and I will say that the variable embarked, embarked is not equal is not equal to empty category tick to b and then I will mutate after this additional operation I removed two observations when the uh, port of embarkation is unspecified I now now I'm ready to repeat all the steps I have done and just repeat all the steps and I think it should work now yeah it should work now I just run all the steps I press ctrl plus enter many times so one change I have introduced is to filter two observations with missing embarkation. And now everything works. I have predictions. These are my predictions for each person in a uh, data set. I have some NAs here because I have no data on H and I have used H for prediction. So well, my algorithm cannot predict because it's used ages, but for other persons we have one or zero. If we'd like to see probabilities for each person, if we'd like to predict probabilities, we just specify this comment with some other options. We say type equal to probe, I think. Yeah, I think. Yeah, these are probably, I may ask Random Forest to show me probabilities. For each person, probability of survival and probab uh, probability of death and probability of survival. So, that's it. We can't say much about Random Forest. It's just used for predictions. So, when we have a clean data set, when categories do match each other, it goes smoothly. But we may spend some time on uh, cleaning it. Where yeah. I had to be before transformation into factor variables. I need three levels. So before uh, I add this to be before saying that uh, the, uh, the variable uh, embarked is factor variables, I should remove this empty category before this. So I will post my code once again. So I will post my code once again. Link will link does not change. So you use the same link zz i x seven with big Z, small Z, big Z. A small i, big x, big 7. So you use this link and it will be okay. So that's all for today. Yeah. If you have some problems, please ask me. Do not be shy. Yeah. Okay.